Hey everyone, want to see how the top AI video generators, Runway ML, Kling, Hilo, and more, handle the same anime image? Let's compare them all in one place. But how can we even do that kind of comparison without spending a fortune? Are you feeling overwhelmed by the sheer number of AI generators? Maybe you want to try out the premium features of several platforms, but you don't want to sign up for multiple expensive subscriptions just for testing. Or perhaps you need a quick and efficient way to compare different AI outputs for a client or team presentation without juggling a dozen different websites and downloads. Any of that sounds familiar, then polo.ai might be exactly what you're looking for. This is an all-in-one AI image and video generation tool, an aggregator that brings together the power of many different AI models under one roof. The core concept is simple. Polo.ai acts as a central hub. Instead of subscribing to each individual platform, which often costs $10 to $15 per month per platform, you use Polo.ai's credit system. You pay for what you use, accessing premium features from over 10 different AI-powered websites, all through a single Polo.ai account. You'll find familiar functions like image to video, text to video, and text to image. Plus, there's a whole suite of useful tools, upscaling, background removal, AI video effects, and even pre-made templates, like that popular AI kissing effect you see all over social media. Since I'm a huge fan of 2D anime, we'll be focusing primarily on that style today. Let's start with text to image generation. Polo.ai offers a wide range of models to choose from. One of the popular open source options right now is Flux, known for its high resolution output. For those of you who struggle with writing prompts, you can even use AI to help. I'll demonstrate using DeepSeek R1 through Hicks.ai to generate a prompt for a, a lo-fi anime scene. If the prompt is too long, you can just tell the AI to shorten it. I'll try the Flux shell model first, then I'll choose a style. There are many options, but I'll go with Japanese anime. After choosing the aspect ratio, which is important for how your final image will look, we click Create. Hmm, the image composition is a bit weird. It could be the prompt, or it could be the model. Let's try another one. Let's try Imogen 3. If it fails, you can just click Regenerate. The vibe is better, but the text is wrong. It's probably best to avoid scenes with lots of signs or text that the AI might struggle with. Let's try Flux Dev. The result seems more natural, but the mood and color aren't quite right for lo-fi. Finally, let's try Flux 1.1 Pro. Much better. This result is much more suitable for the lo-fi style. The color, the mood, it's all pretty close to the prompt. Now let's move on to image to video, which is what I personally use the most. Polo.ai has all the famous closed and open source models you could want. We're going to test all of them for you today. We'll start with Polo.ai's own 1.5 model, which is the cheapest option. I'll choose the shortest video length to save credits. I'll use the image we just generated as our test image, and we'll use it with every model so we can compare the results side by side. You can set the public visibility to show your result in the public explore feed or enable copy protection to hide the prompt from other users. Click create and we wait. Polo AI Pro users can generate five videos simultaneously while free users can generate one at a time. I'll generate videos with every model, and then we'll watch them all together. Okay, after waiting a few minutes, all the videos are generated. Let's take a look at the results. Polo 1.5. If you ignore the slightly dark lighting and some face morphing, it's not bad. Runway, Gen 3. High sharpness, quite natural movement. The hair and background are a bit stiff. 
Kling 1.6, standard. The character doesn't move, only the camera. Kling 1.6 Pro. The character only moves their mouth and hands slightly. Hilo. Only the mouth and arms move a little. The image isn't very clear. Pixverse 3.5. Normal, lots of animation, very natural, but the character deviates quite a bit from the reference image. Pixverse 3.5 Performance Similar to normal, lots of movement, but the character is distorted, and there are extra fingers and hands. Not good. Vidu 2.0 The image is quite faithful to the reference. The animation is fairly natural, almost like a loop animation. Lumeray 2 Good adherence to the reference image, lots of movement, but there's some morphing because of the extensive a movement. Lumeray 1.6. The image doesn't move, only the camera. There are a lot of artifacts. Wanks 2.1. Very little movement, but it's not too bad. Seaweed. Moderate move. There is little movement. Yellow lamps and colorful books have been added to the scene, which do not suit the original style. Hilo Live 2D, very faithful to the reference image. Natural movement. Kling 1.5, standard. Lots of movement, but the duration is short. There are some still frames and some morphing. Kling 1.5 Pro. The character doesn't move, only the camera. Kling 1.0. Standard, it turned into a real person. Kling 1.0. Pro. The character seems not to move, only the camera and background, but overall it looks quite natural. Next, we'll try the consistent character video function. I'll use a reference image of an anime girl and a prompt to generate a video with this character. After choosing the aspect ratio and length, we click create and wait. The result is quite close to the prompt, and the character is consistent with the reference image. Although there are still some minor errors, like the mug with two handles, or the rain seeming to fall inside the room instead of outside. Let's try the AI animation mode. It's similar to text to video, but seems specialized for anime styles. There are many sub-styles you can try. I'll try the Makoto Shinkai style. The result isn't far from the prompt, although the composition is a bit weird. Maybe the prompt needs some adjustment, you can reprompt or upscale the video you've just generated, or even add sound to it. There are various upscale sizes available. I'll choose 4K with the anime style. The upscaled result is pretty sharp and still retains the original details. There are more tools besides upscaling, which you can explore in the AI tools section. The next thing to try is the video effect. I'll try the AI squish effect. Apollo AI can generate this type of video in one minute, while many other brands would take around five minutes to do so. I'll use this image. And this is the result. What do you think? There's also a video to anime function. I'll use a video from a stock video website to test it. And this is the result. What do you think? Before showcasing our last feature, I'd like to try the text to video with Apollo 1.5. This is the result. What do you think? The last feature I want to show you is the Explore. This is incredibly useful if you want to see what other people are creating. You can see their prompts if they haven't hidden them. This feature is available on almost every AI generation website, but most of them, especially for video generators, only show content from their own models. For example, the Runway ML website will only have a video feed of Runway ML creations, and Hilo will only show Hilo videos. But Polo.ai is an aggregator, so you can see videos from any model they offer Runway ML, Hilo, Luma, and others, all in one place. This feed is great for inspiration, learning how to prompt effectively 
seeing what kinds of images work well for image to video, and discovering the capabilities of different AI models. For free users, you can generate up to two videos at no cost. Paid users enjoy the benefits of creating multiple tasks simultaneously without watermarks or copy protection. And all users, regardless of their plan, can check in daily to earn free credits. You can get 25 free credits just for logging in for a week, which adds up to around 100 credits per month. The cheapest image to video option costs 10 credits, while premium models can cost over 50 credits. So even with a free account, you can still use premium features if you're willing to invest a little time. AI video generation does have a real world cost. I've experimented with renting GPUs myself, and I can tell you that you could easily spend 10 to 15 US dollars a day without getting any usable videos. So for an aggregator product like Polo.ai, I think it's quite fair that they offer free users access to these premium services, even if it involves a trade-off of their time. If you need to compare the results from different models, you can use the My Creations tab to see all the videos and images you've generated. And that's all for this video. Which AI model did you like the most? Do you think Polo.ai is useful? What content do you want to see next? Please leave a comment below. Don't forget to like and subscribe to BeBits for more AI for personal entertainment and productivity.